Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to show you something which was um, added to the eVidink application I think probably recently and I only realized this when I was uh, I wanted to test something with my new uh, LED strip is you might remember before um, when I was creating triggers for LED strips and coral light bulbs then I said that the only action available uh, for such devices so for example if I add um, add smart device and I select let's say the L2 strip the only option uh, available was the on off so you couldn't use a scene to control the brightness or the color of the color temperature and now it has been added which is actually really nice because it gives you a lot of different options how you use this color product to um, you know to produce different colors because what you could do in the past is that you can only um, turn it on and and then it would turn on to the to the same color that it was used last time there was no way of controlling that but now you can say that I want to turn it on or off or just reverse the current state but then you have these couple of options so you can either set the color temperature you can set the color and you can also set the brightness and you can choose any of these. I mean, obviously, you either set the color or the color temperature, not both, but then you can definitely add the brightness. Um, and now you can do some, you know, fun things. So, for example, you can do a notification light, which is going to light up, you know, green and red based on different uh, events that are happening around the house, not just turning on and off. But what I'm going to use this for, or what I'm using uh, for, is to create a sunset light. So I have created a couple of few uh, scenes, as you can see, sunset 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and sunset off. Uh, unfortunately, there is no scene, which is the sunset. So the best we have is I create a scene, uh, which is, as you can see, you can set a condition that it uh, triggers a sunset. So if you do plus... Uh, okay, I can't do it anymore. So let me just uh, show you with a new one. So you can set a, you can select the trigger and you can set the sunrise and the sunset trigger. Obviously, you have the current city where the, your home is, and then you can set the sunset, and you have the option. Come on, yeah, and you have the option whether you want to run this 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 50 minutes, 10 and 5 minutes before the sunset or after the sunset. So this is why I have six because I have these six different uh, options. So the idea is that 30 minutes before the sunset, the LED strip will come on at relatively low brightness. And as we approach the sunset, it continuously increases the brightness. And as you can see, I could only set five different um, scenes. But to be honest, in real life, it, you won't really see the difference. So, I mean, it, it literally just gradually comes on. You don't see the individual step between the, um, you know, the transitions. And anyway, there is a small fade between the transitions by, start, by default. So it, it's not going to just, you know, jump from one brightness setting to another, which is nice. So as you can see on the first one, I said that I want this... Um, you know, orangish color at 5% brightness. So this is 30 minutes before the sunset. And then on the next one, which is 20 minutes before the sunset, I increase the brightness to 20%. And on the third one, I increase to 50%. Um, you know, once you pick brightness, you, you have to either pick the color or the color temperature as well, which means that there is no way you are going to set exactly the same color because you know, it's, it's a limited screen size. But anyway, you, again, you don't really see the difference. So you just pick a color and that's going to be, you know, fairly uh, close. And step four is 70%. I think at step five, I set it to, yeah, 86%. Again, I just picked a random um, number. It doesn't have to be exact. And then when I reach the sunset, I put it to 100%. So that's where it's going to be the brightest when it's the darkest outside. I mean, if you want, you can do the other way around. And then finally, I said that the uh, on the last step is going to be when the, the sunset goes, well, the light goes off, and then you, I just set it to a specific time. So um, half past 10, it's going to turn on, turn off, and please don't forget to uh, pick every single day, uh, just to make sure that it's, it doesn't do it once, but it's going to do it every single day. And that's when you're going to turn it off. And of course, when you turn it off, well, 
you don't see you, you don't pick the color and the brightness because well you don't have to yeah it works and uh, you know it is really really simple to set this up oh did I did I do something okay no no I haven't man saved anything or haven't changed anything and um, I mean I have set up this a couple of couple of days ago about a week ago and it works reliably so definitely these options are working and I believe these were introduced uh, especially since the NS Panel Pro started supporting uh, Zigbee light bulbs like the Yi light and you know throat free and uh, so the Ikea light and and the Philips Hue and obviously one of the key features of these RGB lights is in order to control the uh, uh, the brightness and the and the color or the color temperature and that was something that I was I think it was missing for a long time and should have been done a long time ago because Sonoff had um, you know Wi-Fi products uh, with a similar capability in the past I'm not saying I've tested all the lights but I was testing it with different um, um, LED strips uh, all the Zigbee lights I have, um, they are just, you know, normal white lights, so I wasn't able to test, but I think it works universally across all devices that uh, support some sort of color. So it could be uh, one of uh, well, one of the older Wi-Fi bulbs, as I said, all the LED strips seems to work with that. So it's a nice addition. I think it's fun to use. Um, I will try to link all the uh, products that could be useful for these uh, these scenarios in the video description. So if you want to test it out or if you want to build a similar sunset light, you can just pick one of the LED strips, the son of LED strips, and it's going to work for you just like it works for me. So that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.